little pointers that I would like to give to you is the growth requires change, change is painful. If this season of your life is burdening you, maybe it's not Satan that's the problem. Maybe it's a system that's the problem. Change the system. If it's burdening you, change the system. I'll give you an example. I felt burdened this week, this, this year. One of the pastors told me, he said, he says, do you rest? And I realized that in about 14 years of my life in ministry, I can count how many days off I took during the week. Because you know, Sunday for me is work. And all the way till Friday, I can count it on one hand in 15 years. I don't rest. And he says, that's, you're breaking God's commandment. And I said, well, I feel strong. He says, you do now, but it's not good. Then I realized my system was broken. The way I used to prepare sermons was this. is during the week, I work at the office, run around like a chicken with his head cut off sometimes. And then I postpone my sermon preparing on Saturday night when I'm supposed to be enjoying my time with my family. And so on Saturday, I spend all day pretty much preparing sermons. So I never have even a time to breathe. People ask me, what do you do for fun? And I say, sermon preparing? Because I don't have time for that. And the Lord convicted me from Exodus where he says six days you shall work and on the seventh day you should rest. And God says, lad, you're working wrong. He says, why are you running around doing all of the office work when your number one job, Monday to Friday or Monday to Thursday, is to prepare your message and to feed your spirit and spend time in prayer. Why don't you put that first and then you go do the office work. And so when you have days off, your message is done, your notes are done, everything and your spirit is ready. And so I started to apply that. I started to change the way I do things. Why? Because I realized that the reason why I'm burned out is, or, or, or discouraged or a little bit hard, it's not because the devil is attacking me and just, it's just so difficult. I realized is the way I've been doing things is destroying this very man. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, if our church grows to a thousand and two thousand, I'm going to be on life support Monday to Friday. I'm not going to make it. And I remember my wife told me, she's like, you can, she's like, what's going to happen to you? And so the problem is the systems were old, but we are in the new season. So I'm just going to share kind of what, what I started to do is I started to, you know, come to prayer. And after that, my most alert time when nobody's kind of at the office is in the morning. So right after prayer, I go do my sermon preparation till about nine or 10. And then the staff comes in, hang out with the staff a little bit. We get some things done. I go work out run my mile that's also very important for stress relief one mile a day keeps the stress away in Jesus name <laughs> then I come back I do a little bit more work and so by Thursday my message is done I feel fulfilled I feel accomplished and then I can go into the weekend already spending time with the family and trying to pray to God what should I do because <laughs> all the all the job is done and I started to notice is that it brings replenishment to me it brings sense of sense of fulfillment sense of enjoyment and it's not that I wasn't praying it's that the way I was planning my day it was not consistent with the season that I was in what season are you in that's burdening you right now maybe it's a system problem not a Satan problem another thing that I will mention to you and this applies to me if I don't have boundaries I will always have burdens if I don't have boundaries, I will have burdens. I can have the greatest relationship with God. I can hear God speak to me every single day. If I don't know how to say no, my yes will never have power. One of the things that I have to practice today is boundaries. I have more invitations now to speak at other churches than I have had probably any other time in my life. And they're good invitations. They're my friends. And a lot of them are so amazing. And I, I'm tempted to say yes. And I've been really learning and asking God, to wait for one or two days to pray about it and then to say this no do I need to go there if the answer is no then Ilya or Ivan goes there give other people an opportunity because I don't have to go to every single place now I can help other people to be empowered to go to places that I should have maybe or could have went before because if I don't have boundaries I will be burdened a burden in your life could be a sign that you don't have boundaries and lastly, lastly about this season thing is that secure leaders empower others. Insecure leaders, they control others. You have to learn to empower, you have to learn to delegate, you have to learn to let go. You have to learn to give other people an opportunity. If you are struggling right now with your serving to God, maybe you're burned out. Ask yourself, where is your relationship with Jesus? Do you enjoy His presence? Maybe we'll start with, do you even spend time with Jesus? Do you read His Word or do you eat His Word? And then I would ask this, has your systems changed with this new season? The way you work out, the way you eat, the way you sleep, 
how you watch and what you do has that changed since you stepped into a new season because if it didn't it will overwhelm you and it's not going to be a satan or a service problem it could be a system problem